Hi Aries, welcome back to Baby Boss. Let's get into your daily reading, okay? <clears throat> right, I might not be with it today. My boss baby number three is going with the surgery to repair his broken arm today, so I'm a little bit nervous for him. All right, Aries, what do you need to know today? All right, Aries, so you got unity. Uh, you understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has ripple effects across the universe. Satisfaction. You let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. Responsibility. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. But Aries, you feel like you're not getting the exact same in return. You've got peacefulness. You recognise that balance, kindness and love bring calmness to your soul. Okay, Aries, what do you need to know about your person? What does Aries need to know about their person? Okay, Aries, what you need to know about your person is that they could have had an ex-lover that sabotaged your connection here. Okay, uh, your person is always under the herbal influence here. They're always on cloud nine. All right, they regret. Your person is in regret right now. So someone regrets what they did to you, how they treated you, and how they contributed to the mess. Yeah, your person knows that they were acting the fool. So this is someone who knows they are being childish and goofy, but doesn't care when the situation calls for maturity. All right, Aries, your person is eavesdropping on you, okay? That's buying on you. So a peeping Tom looking over someone's shoulder, listening to your private conversation. So your person is actually trying to get as much information as they can about you. All right, Aries, you could have divorced this person or your person's divorcing somebody else, but a broken relationship, lost connections, severed ties. Aries, you could have broken up with this person, but you are a divine union. So a sacred union between two souls, a divinely guided connection coming together, two people on the same team. So Aries, the person that you're dealing with, you are divinely connected to be together. Um, your person seems to be very stressed right now and they're daydreaming of you. All right, Aries, so how does your person feel about you today? How does Aries' person feel about them today? Well, the Knave of Pentacles in the reverse and the Seven of Wands, they are... Extremely guarded and defensive, and they feel like areas that yes, you have you've kind of cut them off. Okay, page of pentacles in the reverse. Um, uh, they feel like you don't want to hear an apology from them. <clears throat> okay, they feel like that you're just not going to listen nor hear them out. What else does areas need to know about their person today? Okay, king of swords. Yeah, they feel like areas that you're not going to show them any emotions. Um, at this point in time, Nine of Pentacles, that you're single, you're abundant, you're working on yourself. They do have a lot of passion for you, Aries. If they got you alone, they will literally take you straight to the bedroom. Yeah, they feel like you're walking away from them. They could feel like you're possibly going towards somebody else or having a passionate beginning with somebody else. Okay, um, they feel like... I know this is weird. Justice has come out. But what your person is feeling is that they deserved it. They deserve you from walking away from them. It's kind of what they feel. What action is your person going to take towards you today, Aries? What action is Aries' person taking towards them today? I saw it. It was Twin Flame. Yep. Yeah. Aries, this is your Twin Flame. Their action towards you. They feel rejected by you, Aries. They're feeling lost. They're fragmented right now. Yep. Yeah. Uh, they're working on ego. Okay. Um... They want to be happy, and they're trying to find empowerment. All right, is there anything else? The situation as it stands between you two right now. Situation as it stands between you two. All right, you're talking to each other through your dreams in the 5D. You have a telepathic connection. Yeah, they feel ghosted and blocked off from you. They feel cut off from your areas, okay? Um, they're actually trying to switch it around. They're, they're possibly telling people that they've ghosted you and they've blocked you, Aries, but you know the truth. You're the one that's actually blocked them. Right, let's see. What does your person want to say to you? Look, all these decks coming out. It's supposed to be a quick daily reading, but hey, hey, hey. Aries, what does this person want to say to you now? What does this person want to say to you now? Quite a lot. Inseparable. Our love is always there despite the distance. And Aries, yeah, they still have secrets. I haven't told you everything. They're still harboring secrets. Uh, Crosswatcher for Aries. Um, if you want an Aries to stay in your life, you've got to tell them everything. Don't ever keep secrets from an Aries. Okay? You've got daydreaming. So they're always longing for you, Aries. All right? Damage. We are both hurting from this. Yeah, you are. Reveal. They want to tell you the truth. But Aries, they're not going to tell you the truth. So it's best to just 
Aries, keep them on block. If they're not going to tell you the truth, even though they want to, just keep them on block. Alright? Just let them, rev, you know, revel in their own whatever. Alright? They always feel connect connected to you, and they miss your inside jokes. So, uh, funny enough, I'm being told uh, to do this. Right, if there is a third party... Aries, if there is a third party, how does your person feel about the third party? Sorry, the deck was upside down. How do they feel about the third party? Aries, unfortunately, yeah, they love the third party. Yep, they want to reconcile with the third party, Aries. Let them go. Go on, let them go. Let them go to the third party. How does the third party feel about your person? Five of Cups. They're sad and regretful. Their, their third party knows, Aries, that there is competition for them. They're sad, they feel guilty, remorse, and they want to heal it with them because they are the wish fulfillment. Alright, what is your person's action towards the third party? Your person's action towards the third party. High Priestess, not telling them secrets. Four of Swords in the reverse, they're not going to get over the third party. Knave of Cups, they're going to love bomb them. It's going to cause a lot more stress. They are going to keep their options open because this person has issues. This person is Judas. That's what I heard. Aries, your person is Judas. I feel like they don't care who they hurt. As long as they've got options with the Seven of Cups. As long as they've got someone around, they don't care who they screw over. Because this person is the goddamn devil. Aries, their action towards you. We know what their action towards the third party is. They want the third party because they're in love with them. Aries, your person's action towards you. Keep them on block, Aries, alright? Yeah, they're going to rush in. They want to say a few words to you, Aries, but the Knight of Cups in the reverse. They're going to be dishonest about everything. Queen of Wands in the reverse. They're going to lie to you. Um, this person, they're going to gonna keep sleeping around, alright? Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. They know it's not going to happen with you, Aries, because they just cannot come correct. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. They're going through karma. Ace of Swords in the reverse, they're going to continue to lie to you, Aries. Five of Swords in the reverse, they don't want the conflict between you two. And the Hierophant in the reverse, they know you're not going to commit to them. They're not going to give you the commitment because they like to sleep around. Alright, Aries, that was your daily reading.